entrepreneurial leadership, if I can say it, uh, is, is all about um, uh, creating an environment in which people are understanding of the situation in which they operate, but willing to think widely and to take some risk and to, uh, to challenge convention in order to diversify, to grow, to, to push boundaries and, uh, uh, and so on. Lots of ways. Uh, firstly, um, we're not just a university, we're a university group. Um, uh, that in itself is fairly innovative and fairly uh, enterprising, I think. Uh, why? Because that gives us, um, we've developed a sort of way of creating new entities which contain and develop and take risk and, and do things differently. Um, not because the university can't do things differently, but sometimes you get into a particular way of doing and behaving. Secondly, supporting our students to, uh, to challenge norms, to take on um, interesting things, to, to be international, to be engaged with an enterprise community, to, be, uh, to do lots of different things, to, to pursue, so pursue dreams, I, 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 I guess. Um, and, and thirdly, to uh, enable staff to, um, to challenge norms. It's really important for universities to be entrepreneurial because in the current climate, um, um, the, the funding envelope, the, the, the ways in which regulation is, is, is coming into force are all more constraining. And so the opportunity to be diverse, to, to sit across many areas, one, it, it, it just means things are interesting. And if things are interesting, academics are generally curious. So, Give them the opportunity to to do things differently and two to be diverse in in the ways in which we operate means i think yes you'll have some failure but it does mean that there'll be a, a spread of, of opportunity across a broader front i think one of the characteristics of an entrepreneurial university is that it's engaged in its community it's engaged in its community being local, regional, national and international uh, and if you're engaged in your community or communities then um, you're bringing direct and immediate benefit to, to those communities. So an, uh, an entrepreneurial university has real impact, real social impact and um, a direct financial pecuniary you know, benefit to, to those communities. I don't think there are particular barriers that are, that are curious to the UK. I think the barriers to being entrepreneurial are uh, significantly perception and belief and mindset. And so an entrepreneurial leader is the person that can liberate those, um, uh, that curiosity so that people can, can figure out ways to do things differently and therefore to, to take some risk and to I use the word risk in a, in a positive sense in that, in that sense and to do some things differently. Um, gosh, lots of things support entrepreneurial activity, I guess. Um, but the most important of those is um, a willingness to be innovative, um, a, a leadership drive that's, that, that creates the environment in which people can be, uh, be enterprising. For people to understand um, the boundaries of, uh, of risk and not to do, you know, taking risk is, is a calculation. It's not just about being reckless. And so creating a, an environment that encourages um, people to do things, but to understand that doing things doesn't mean being reckless. That I think is, um, is what it's all about.